Numerous aluminium foil covered tubes filled with medication run down and into the tiny vein of a nine year old girl, bringing us closer to a reality that many may find too overwhelming for such young innocents. The beginning of an intense eight hour chemotherapy session for a girl who barely a week ago was just a little known cancer victim. I want to tell them but whose speech at the launch of the Cancer Foundation, spearheaded by Medical Services Minister Anyang Nyongo, moved an entire audience. Her courage and determination seeing her make the news. I feel for you, Princess. You are one strong lady. Everywhere in the coming days. Obviously, you've missed quite a bit of school in the last six months, right? I mean, are you, are you, do you feel bad about that? Yeah, I feel bad. I've missed my friends, my teachers. Days later, and her mother tells of how her little girl has continued to be a beacon of hope, not only for cancer victims, but to a society eagerly searching for inspiration. What many wouldn't understand by just looking at this young girl, seated on her favorite couch, enjoying her favorite pastime, until you listen to her tell you the story of how a simple bout of chickenpox started off a journey that changed her entire childhood. When we went to Nairobi Hospital, they explained to my mom I had cancer. And how four months since the cancer diagnosis, she has managed to overcome her greatest fear. Chemotherapy time. That brings me down poop like a, a fly that has been sprayed more in doom. I'm never scared, just I'm nervous. The nine-year-old has to go for chemotherapy sessions every two weeks. The intensity of such sessions seeing her missing out on the joys of childhood. Like going to school, not playing like the other kids outside, not enjoying. I feel like I just feel like I have I don't have my children I don't have my child rights. And though she says she has over time accepted the consequences of her cancer diagnosis, she says there was just one thing she had a difficult time accepting, losing her hair. My mom always tell me if you can accept the biggest challenge in your whole life, then how can you can you just accept a tiny little thing of cutting your hair. I told her it's not just a very little t thing. It's very big to me. My hair was my only hope, my only strength. I felt like it, it's my beauty. Weeks and a new look later, however. I see the normal person I used to be. I feel like I'm even prettier than before. Such the inspiration of a young girl who has refused to let cancer bring her down. And though the story she tells you is that of a child who has had to sacrifice too much as a result, the message she wants her story to pass on is entirely different. I feel like my story is to encourage them to have faith, have hope, and also to pray every day. Sometimes when she's talking, we cry. But she has always told us, don't cry, instead support me. I believe I'll be healed. Like I always say, Dr. Street, but God heals. Rose has since released a song whose title, I Believe, is the message she wants to pass on through music. I just told my mom, Mom, we can they write a song about my um, condition so that it can help you pay for my chemotherapy because I see how you struggle. I, believe, I, live to see another day. I want to encourage other kids out there, other people who can't, who feel like they're going to die. I want, I sang that song to encourage them. I don't even think I'm bright. Are you serious? No. You've never thought of yourself as above average? Why not? Because I don't feel bright. I just feel like any other kid out there. 
But she isn't just any other kid out there. She's a nine-year-old girl who has seen a country rally behind her carriage, donating money to see her through her chemotherapy that would cost over 900,000 shillings, buying her music and praying for her recovery, her strength oozing even when she's at her weakest. I just want to tell them not to give up hope. A cartoon-loving nine-year-old whose life inspires even the oldest of us all. If children have the ability to ignore all odds and challenges, then maybe we should learn from them. The lessons from Princess Rose's experience and ultimate strength, teaching us the value of positive thinking. To fight and conquer despite and in spite all odds. Evelyn Mumboy for Newsmakers.